Hello everybody, this is Steve here and welcome to Golf Ball. If you haven't started your business yet, what are you waiting for? If you don't start your business this year, you'll be at least one year older when you do. So get started today. Alright, today we have a great topic. You know, as always, uh, if you get a chance, you want to learn more about the lawn care industry, get on my, uh, my forum at www.goforforum.com or read my blog at www.lawnchat.com. Uh, there's just a ton of content and then we're always talking about new, you know, interesting uh, ways to build your business and make more money out of it. And this uh, show is, is no exception to, uh, to that. Um, this uh, show is going to deal with a question that pops up all the time. And that's uh, how to win over a property manager. So it's a very interesting topic and lawn care business owners are always looking uh, for ways to land commercial lawn care bids. But what's the best way to do it? There are many ways to go about getting close to property managers to win bids, uh, but there's nothing like hearing it, you know, the inside scoop straight from a property manager himself. And that's uh, what we're lucky enough to do in this discussion here, that we had a, a, a property manager had been on the, the forum reading some posts and uh, a, a lawn care business owner got on the forum as well and, and he wrote to us and he said, my question is, is how to get uh, commercial properties. Everyone tells me I have to go to them and they won't come to me. Uh, before we get into this though, I'd like to tell you about my business, he said. I started my lawn care business about four or five years ago with about four accounts and the first season and the second season I got up to about 10 accounts. That's all I had for the next two seasons. Uh, so for this season, he said he, he advertised with signs and he got up uh, to 25 uh, accounts, uh, give or take. And now he, you know, he's moved up from a 21 inch push mower to a 36 inch commercial walk behind. So, you know, what his question is, he said, is, you know, he'd like to expand into commercial uh, businesses, you know, in my area, he said, because all he's been doing is residential yards. He's wondering when to start looking for commercial properties for the next season and, and how to land them. So uh, that's a great question. And here's some insight uh, shared to us uh, from a property manager. And he responded, he said, hello, I'm a property manager of uh, 2 million square feet. I was reading this and thought I would throw in a few thoughts. Uh, the company that he said he works for prepares its budgets at the end of August, uh, beginning of September, with final revisions in October. This is a little early, he said, uh, than most, but not by much. So that, that's about the time range that you really want to be getting uh, your bids in by. Uh, especially given today's economy, he said, we're looking at every expense harder uh, than before, he said. So one of the differences he, he did this year in accepting his bid proposals uh, was he wanted every item broken out. In the past, he would you know, ask for the total uh, for the year, the number of cuts and what that number included. He would put together a bid package outlining what he wanted and then he would get a number as a whole. This year, he wants every service provided broken out a la carte. Uh, he's tailoring his service to his budget and cutting where he can. So he's looking for, he's, he's, he said he's looking at everything from irrigation maintenance the fertilization and tree trimming, trying to find small amounts that can be cut, you know, here and there to make a difference. However small, he said, maybe this year he'll be only trim the trees, you know, once and fertilize uh, once instead of twice like last year. He's not sure, but he, he needs the options right now. So he's met with a lot of resistance from several contractors telling him not to cut back on fertilization or other services. But the fact of the matter is, he said, is the budget is so tight that property incomes are, they're, they're so greatly reduced Every dime he can squeeze out of it has a direct impact. And uh, he said, those landscape contractors that he invited to bid this year tended to get his attention about six months previous. Maybe once a month sending him an email or a brochure or a phone call. He actually throws out uh, the ones that he, that he says get too overzealous, but that's just him. He said he doesn't need a call every week. Uh, once a you know, month is fine. Uh, and he has a lot of other things going on, but again, that's just him. So he said, first off, insurance is a priority. He's in a large scale commercial property management company and all his contractors are required to carry at least $2 million in insurance. So he said, he used to take a million dollars, but now only $2 million is looked at. He also requires terms, he says. Uh, he said, sorry, but his, his office has on an average of 100 invoices coming in a day and we handle approximately 10 million square feet, so lots of things need to be paid. And it's just not possible, he said, to cut a check the same day or typically even a week to get someone paid. He said it requires all contractors to be uh, on a 30-day invoice. Obviously, uh, he said, 
they're good sized and you know a lot of smaller companies can turn invoices around faster but if you want to work uh, for him and his company you have to meet his terms he said lastly uh, more than, than anything he said he, he looks at references he requires and he will call references so he says you know your brochures may look great and he goes I don't know you from Adam ultimately so he says he needs to talk to people that do know you and do know your work uh, one last thing he said he would like to throw out uh, for the, uh, a thought for this year was uh, it's been a bad year for commercial real estate and forecast he says for the next year is to be much worse so he would caution you uh, that there are a lot of real estate companies out there on the verge of closing and uh, they're having a hard time paying their bills and for that reason they may, they may be making a fast switch because the place needs to be maintained but they don't have enough cash to pay the last guy who maintained the property so just be wary, he said, of anyone making a fast switch right now. And he also, uh, he's seen a lot of companies uh, stretch, uh, you know, those 30-day uh, payment terms into 45 or even 60 days. So again, he says they're pretty good size, and he's sure that that's not what everyone, you know, had in mind, though, about commercial properties. But he just thought he'd like to contribute that to everyone. So I thought that this was a fantastic insight. And, and now that you know all this, you can take all that information and use it to your advantage when you're trying to get in the, you know, the attention of a property manager. You know, listen to this video again and pay close attention to each one of these elements because these are the things that are going to be key for you to get commercial lawn care property uh, bids and commercial lawn care property uh, acceptances on your bids. So I hope this all helped you out and I hope that you're, you know, you're going to be out there and you're going to be landing commercial bids and get on the forum, uh, go for forum at www.goforforum.com. Tell us about your bids and how everything went. Also, read my blog at www.launchat.com. Uh, there's just so much information on there. You'll be reading for, for months, uh, and it'll help educate you. So until the next time we speak, always remember to dream it, build it, go for it. And ultimately, uh, this show wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for a gopher software. So if you get a chance, and you're a lawn care business operator, uh, you need software to run your business, even if you're just starting. The gopher software is very inexpensive, and what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to get everything organized. It's going to allow you to get all your bills organized, all your schedule organized. Uh, you're going to be able to print out daily worksheets. You're going to be able to print out invoices when you need them. It works with the Palm software. It also has a barcode reader so you can scan in when jobs are completed or if invoices are paid. And one of the biggest mistakes you see a lot of lawn care businesses make is that they don't keep track of how much people owe them. They don't get their invoices out on time or they mess up their schedules. So this also can track your chemical applications, your employee times, and it can also track your equipment preventive maintenance repair schedules. So if you get a chance, get on gophersoftware.com, download the free trial version, try it out for 30 days, and until the next time we see you, always remember to dream it, build it, go for it.